Somebody that is about to leave is looking for expensive car to buy. Why people that are not leaving and they are not planning to leave, they don't want to leave, do not even have food to eat. Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Sama. So, um, <laughs> I saw okay, I saw a video of Odumeje where he um, he went to a car dealership and is looking to you know buy a new car and he actually captioned it. If you do not know, Odumeje is a Nigerian guy that goes by the title Prophet Odumeje, right? And uh, not too long ago, he came out to say. He came out, he was preaching to his members and he said that his time is up, he's going soon and all of that. And he was giving messages to his son, which I, his older son, if I'm not mis mistaken, is around maybe 10 year old. Giving messages to his son that he's going to take over, look after your mother and your siblings and all of that. And he went all over the internet said that the Odumije said his uh, time is up or his time is, like basically he said he's going soon, right? The same man that is going, <laughs> sorry, the same man that is going soon. He's now at a car dealership uh, looking at uh, cars, right? He actually captioned it. Let me find this caption. He captioned it, you shall not lack this 2023. Um, God will still remember you. Stay with Jesus. There was even a comment that made me laugh. This comment said, I won't, I won't comment something, but I defeat. <laughs> I bet you is the comment and say, ah, I thought you said you're, you're leaving. Your Abby. Another comment says, I thought he said his time is up. This other comment said, His time is no longer up. Credit a lot, don't enter. <laughs> Look at this comment. This comment says, Who won't die if they buy new car? <laughs> which mumu, which mumu they go this guy church self. Church money they sweet. Offering time, blessing time. <laughs> Another comment said, Come out your eye for church money. Now, na pastor, get time. Portable is a real G. I wonder if I saw this person say, ah, Is this not the same man? I was, Is this not the same man that said his time is up? He's going. I, can't, I was never thinking, Is he buying the car that he's going to drive? <laughs> Sorry. Is he, <laughs> is he buying the car he's going to drive to heaven? You don't. Then they take road, girl. <laughs> God help me. Then they take road, go heaven. What is this? What is all this? Because when you talk small now, somebody will say, touch not my anointed. This one, that one, that one. They talk. You can't, you know what I mean? I don't understand. He said, how can somebody that knows is going soon? I want to go and be buying a new car. OJ Megane. What does he want to do with a new car? If truly he is going, is he not supposed to be rounding up? Sorry. Is he not supposed to be rounding up and say, ah, like the ones I've already bought safe. Uh, let me get he has a lot of cars though. he has a lot of not anyhow cars right he's not even say ah this one let me just share church member you take this one or let me reduce the cars let me organize this for organize this for my family because i'm on my way out he's buying a new one you know i've said it several times before christianity is a faith that is free for all you know when you say free for all it's like everybody's allowed to come in it's not a bad thing though unfortunately it it brings the opportunity, if I can use that word, for anybody to just, when I say anybody, you see, is legitimate or is not a, against the law to be a pastor. Yahoo is a, is a, is illegal, right? Um, going to go and rob people is illegal. Every other thing, but this, to enter church and say you are a pastor, that God has called you, is not illegal. You see what I'm trying to say? So church being free for all makes it Easy for anybody to come inside and start claiming one thing or the other. One of the best ways to get Nigerians is to say that God has called you. All of a sudden, you become unquestionable, untouchable, and un-everythingable. But the question for us as Christians, we should ask ourselves is, how do outsiders see us when they look? Don't forget that we are the people that our lives should reflect the life of Christ. You know, to a great extent. People should be able to look at us and say, ah, whatever those people are practicing is what I want to practice. But when outsiders come today, Nigerian pastors in one story or the other by Nigerian pastors, another day, oh, pastor did this one, and they see all this, you know, what would they what, what does Christianity look like to, to the world 
when they see all these things, all these things that are going on. I don't know, those of you that come and support, those of you that say touch not my anointed, my question is for you. Is someone that is living, somebody that says that he's living this world, right? Do you guys think he needs a new car? Did they take, I don't ask her, let me ask again. Did they take road go <laughs> Did they take road go heaven? Now, road did they take go? How? How? I be no go again. I be the plan has changed. It's not going again. He changed his mind. Because if he's saying that God has said that his time is up, if he said that, and then now, is it now God that changed the plans? Or he told God, God Baba God, I never read you. I still get it bad. You don't do. <laughs> I say, I'm, I don't know. You know? Let me tell. You see what? This is what they say. Use your brain before them use them for you. Nigeria is one of those places where if you're not careful, they go use your brain for you. Because, let me tell you guys, Nigeria is tough. The economy is tough. It's hard for people to make it. And it has brought, to a great extent, it has brought about a, a situation where some people now do their own hustling with the Bible in their hands. They don't hustle with a computer, Yahoo boys. They don't hustle with a I'm robbers. They don't hustle with the pen, politicians. They, their own hustle is different. And they are those kind of people that, because of the way people feel like, you cannot talk about a pastor. You cannot say anything a pastor has said. You cannot talk about a pastor. You cannot even question anything a pastor has said. You cannot do that. Let me tell you guys. You know, when people cannot be questioned, why would they not do whatever they want to do? Me, I didn't say he's lying, though. Me, I didn't say he's not uh, going to heaven, no. But my question is, he does he need a car to take go to heaven? Yeah? Does he need a car? So if you think about it, somebody that is about to leave is looking for an expensive car to buy. Why people that are not leaving and they are not planning to leave, they don't want to leave, do not even have food to eat. They don't even have food to eat. But uh, you see, when some people say you pastor, pastor, you talk about pastor, you see that for some time now, there's barely any pastor video. Because I always tell people, I, for example, and most content creators or people that post on the internet, do not go at the pastor's front door and be waiting. Pastor, do something, let me talk about it. No, that's not how it happens. It's whatever is in the news, whatever story is out there, whatever happens, that's what people talk about. For some time now, let's be honest, to a great extent, people have not, people have, people have not been talking about pastors because there's barely anything happening. There's nothing you know, you know, you know, like a um, sacking of pastors that the sacking of pastors during COVID and uh, a lot of stuff that happened that people had to come and say, ah, how can a pastor be sacking pastors and things like that? And nothing has been happening recently. Let's be honest. I mean, now we're talking about other things. Yeah, you can see that most of us, I talk for myself, we're talking about other things, whatever story is out there. But this one, we were all here when we shared the story that this man said he's leaving. The same person that said he's leaving is not coming out. It's not coming out to go and buy a car. Those of you that feel like what we're saying is wrong, please leave comment. Tell us what does he need a car for? I be on our own version of the Bible says that you need a car when you're leaving to take go, to drive go, <laughs> sorry, to drive go go heaven. I don't know whatever your opinions are. Please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. And with that, I'm gonna say thank you for watching. Until the next time, guys. Bye bye. Bye.